Kids can't stop yakking, so schools are just closing. The flu hitting hard in 13 states has seen schools shut down the season, all thanks to a flu shot that didn't prove very effective. And ER nurse Erin Dolbert says it is only going to get worse. Why would that be the case, Erin? Um, well, Neil, this year we're seeing a bad flu season for a couple of reasons. The first being that the flu shot is only 23% effective. Why is and so, that, by the way? Well, so what happened is every year researchers get together to decide which strains of flu are going to be predominant for the coming season. And this year, unfortunately, although they guessed right, the flu virus mutated before, um, you know, it really reached the public. And so the flu shot just isn't working like we wanted it to. Also, this H3N2 strain that we're seeing this year is three times more deadly than other strains that we commonly see. And so I'm seeing in my practice people with very severe symptoms. People are more prone to get complications, to be hospitalized, and especially, like you mentioned, kids. I've also heard that even if you don't get the flu, the, the weather extremes have been such that you're going to get some bad colds. And a lot of kids have gotten these bad colds, all but shutting down a lot of school systems. How bad does that get? Right. It gets really bad. I'm seeing a lot of kids right now with flu-like viruses. For example, they test negative for the flu, but they have something with very similar symptoms. And you mentioned this cold snap we had. It happened right when kids got back in right. school. So they're all, you know, huddled together in the classroom. They're maybe not going out for recess, not going out to play. They're bringing it home from school, spreading it to their families, and in turn getting the rest of the family sick as well. And so that's really how we see this spread and multiply throughout. So give us some quick advice yep. on how we can at least protect protect ourselves, our kids, or at least stop this spreading. Yep. The best thing you can do is good hand washing. Studies show us that only 8% of teenage boys use soap when they wash their hands. So review hand washing with your kids. Soap, warm water, chances are no matter their age, they need a good tutorial. Also keep your hands away from your nose and your mouth. This prevents the virus from entering your respiratory system. You also need to get vaccinated if you haven't already. Even though the flu shot is not working as well as we would like it to, there's still some cross protectivity there. So you may get sick, but you might not get as sick. It can prevent complications. You also might recover a little bit more quickly if you've been vaccinated because your immune system has mm. been ramped up in some, some um, extent at least. You mentioned 8% of the boys. What percent of the yeah. girls don't, don't I do believe this? it's 33% of the girls. So girls are a little you better, but up. not I, You just not because great. you're a woman, you made that up. <laughs> the boys are pigs, the girls are... Right, right. Okay, I, I don't buy that, but we'll see. Aaron, thank you very, very much.